Hi, this is Mim Jenkinson and you're listening to The Planner Podcast. Oh, I can't wait to share this interview with Leanne Rowe at Lime and Mortar with you. So let me tell you about Leanne first and then why Leanne is such an important person for me to bring onto the podcast. So Leanne's a mum of two. She is a FIFO wife based in Western Australia and Lime and Mortar opened in December 2014 and it was one of the very first and now the oldest Australian planner shop and it really is. It's home to three unique planners, the Lime Weekly, Lime Mini Weeks and Lime Daily, but that isn't all because she also has her very own stationery range as well and in that you'll find a huge range of functional, decorative and custom stickers that will allow you to be creative while planning. Now I have known Leanne since I got started with my sticker shop back in 2016 and I've just followed her journey with so much joy. She really is someone who was a great example of a really dedicated planner sticker shop owner who really cared about creating stickers that truly helped her customers. And that's why she's been able to stand out from the crowd from the beginning and for so very long too. And why she's been able to have these amazing opportunities to now start different things within her shop too by creating beautiful planners. So I'm really excited to share this chat with you. Um, It really is a chat. It's like a behind the scenes chat with me and Leanne where we talk all about how she got started, everything that's happened since she did get started and she even shares some really generous tips on how you might be able to take the next leap in your planner or planner sticker business. So let's get started right now. I can't wait for you to hear this. Leanne, I'm so excited that we're finally chatting. It's been a while. (laughs) So many years. So many years and I'm so excited to chat to you. One, to share um, everything about you with everyone else but also because it's been such a long time there's so much that I wanted to be able to talk to you about. So first of all, huge welcome. And um, can you share with everyone else who maybe has been living under a rock who you are about your amazing business? And then we can dive in. No worries. I am Leanne and I am the owner of Lime and Mortar. And I have been in business since the end of 2014. So we're coming up to nine years now. Wow. Isn't that crazy how fast it goes? I know. And especially when you see it from like, you think of your kids, they're like little when you started and now they're like giant teens. So that's like, whoa, okay, a lot's happened in that time. It really has. It really (laughs) has. Yeah. I I kind of tend to do the same thing. Like just like work out where I was in life, depending on how old the kids were. Yeah. (laughs) It's the easiest measure, isn't it? (laughs) So you got started just before me and you were one of the very first sticker shops that I discovered and found out about and as as you know obsessed over like I just (laughs) I have still got in fact I should have got this out for the camera I have still got stickers in my stash from you that I still use it's so funny oh wow so funny so like I know that your business has taken like some really exciting turns along the way for sure from when you got started but tell us how so how did you start what made you decide that that this was going to be the business for you and then tell us how it's it's quite different today yeah so I actually accidentally started my business <laughs> <laughs> so I used to have a home blog which was called Lime and Mortar which is where the name came from and my friend got me onto Erin Condren planners and of course I just went into the rabbit hole and saw the people were using stickers and I was like that's fun Let's make that. And I wanted to customize the headers and stuff in my planner for my blog. Um, so I started making stickers for myself and I'd opened an Etsy shop for printables on my blog. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I'll just pop these stickers up on Etsy since I've already made them. And that was just, yeah. Um, as you said, I was one of the first Australian planner sticker shops. So there wasn't many options here. I think there was only like three of us maybe. And it just took off, but it actually took off overseas before it took off here. Um, I think I was like 90% overseas customers for the first year. Um, So yeah, I very quickly had to learn how to run a business because it was full time within months. So I actually started off with hand cutting stickers. I didn't have any machines, nothing I sat there and cut them with scissors. They were mostly like full box and labels. I did that for six months. My business took off with hand cut stickers, <laughs> no branding, oh. no logos, no like nothing. It was like very much a, I'm just gonna have to make this work. <laughs> I just love that. For anyone listening who's like, I can't afford a cutting machine. Look where Leanne is now and look how you got started. <laughs> no excuses, carry on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Um, so then I obviously invested in machines about six months in and I could create a lot more stickers because obviously I didn't have to do straight lines anymore because it wasn't just scissors. <laughs> uh, so I kept um, expanding my range. Um, and then after, I think it was like 2017, I launched my own website. So for about a year, I had my own website and Etsy. Yeah. Um, but Etsy had pretty much, I let that windle down. Yeah. And then I just closed it and all focused on my own website. Um, so I did stickers for the first five years and then I decided to launch my very own planner, which is designed to be used with stickers. Um, so the coil is uh, more spacious to allow for that sticker expansion. So you can close your planner still at the end of the only year. Only someone in the know <laughs> would know to do that. <laughs> yeah, only a sticker maker would know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I also, yeah, so that gave me the confidence to continue to expand into stationery rather than just the stickers. So I just started adding more and more items. Um, and then I went on to add more planners. So I have three different planners and there's a fourth one on the way. <laughs> Little secret. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so the business obviously was taking over the house. Uh, I was, <laughs> I think I had my office, the spare room, the kids lounge room, the garage, the laundry, like it was literally stock in every place I could fit it. So, yeah. uh, last year we added a second story to our house and now all of my work is upstairs. So all of my storage and my workspace, this is the work side that you can see behind me, Beautiful. um, is yeah is work and then downstairs is home but I still have taken over a little bit downstairs <laughs> as well <laughs> well you're an expanding empire so you know it's okay I'm sure no one complains no I, I was telling Leanne before we hit record I've just been like admiring and like green with envy lime green with envy from <laughs> far at the way that your business um set up at home has like grown and changed over the years um like that is total goals as far as I'm concerned like literally <laughs> considering we've been considering doing the same thing for a couple of years but haven't bitten the bullet so I'm always watching what's Leanne doing next <laughs> <laughs> what can I do in my home I just think it's also I love your story and I'm like I feel so excited that I've had the opportunity to watch it happen too like as a customer just to be able to see how things have changed and how you've really taken every opportunity and made it into something so spectacular. Like you've really created um, not just a planner, but and not just stickers, but the, like this empire where everything works so well together. And it's just been so awesome <laughs> to watch it with you, especially because being in Australia, um, yes, there are so many of us wonderful community slash cult members here who love planning and planner stickers. Yeah. But it's a much smaller pool, isn't it? Than it is much smaller compared to yeah, like America and everything. They've got like obviously a lot more options and a lot yeah. more um, stuff going on over there. They really do. But you've just carved out this amazing place for yourself in the market and you've I mean you've been a front runner as far as I'm concerned from the beginning so first of all a huge congratulations to everything thank you you've done. <laughs> fantastic. So fantastic I'm very lucky to have a great community so that definitely helps oh well yeah. I think that you, you know again you've you've curated and cultivated that community too um and so yeah I, I could rave about your amazing stickers all day you know one thing that I need to get from you I'm going to get some of your erasable pens oh yes uh, yeah Are they they're so much fun to play with yeah <laughs> I just love I love an erasable pen like I actually now to the point where I get really annoyed when I realize a pen I'm using isn't erasable <laughs> do you have you ever had all your um text disappear in the heat yeah they do and then you put it in the freezer and it comes back again oh, does it? oh that's yeah. good <laughs> it's only I'm happened once that. yeah I'll never I'll never make that mistake again that's terrifying <laughs> isn't it lose all your plans <laughs> oh my gosh and then every time I write an envelope like with an address I'm like don't oh. use that pen <laughs> just in case yeah it won't, it won't arrive <laughs> so funny so tell me out of everything that you are now offering in your range um so there's planners there are stickers what else what else are you working on um, so I'm not working on anything at the moment other than this new planner, but obviously I have got all of the other stationery. So like journals, notepads, notebooks, yeah. sticker storage, like everything. So mm -hmm. I'm just like always just trying to think of something new. I like to have something that's not common. So yeah. I'm always just like working on different ideas. I love it. <laughs> and what's the setup like at home in terms of the um like the process of when an order comes through like are you packing the orders yourself do you have any help what happens 
Yep, so it's just me. I don't have staff, never have. Um, yeah. So basically in the morning, I will see what orders have come in overnight. Yeah. I will print off all of the printing slips and stuff and I'll actually print and cut the stickers to order. So I don't have them already cut, mm. ready to go. So um, I will grab all the stationery they need for that order and then I'll sit and do all the stickers. I'll pack that order, then I'll move on to the next one. And I just do that and go through all the orders until they're done basically. Yeah. But um, I don't walk, work after 4 p.m. So I set a very strict boundary with my work hours yeah. that I will not work after 4. That's like dinner, kids, relax exactly. time. Yeah, That's my time too. Like it used to be 2 and now it's pretty much 4. Um, yeah. and, but in the early days, it was a lot longer than that. But I love yeah. that boundary. I love that you're still doing like the printing and the cutting and putting everything together too because that's really yeah. a fun part of a part of what you do as well isn't it? it's kind of therapeutic yeah and it's just yeah the attention to detail like I don't think I could ever like outsource things and stuff like that and plus with my stickers because there is so many like you can pretty much choose every color any color in all the stickers yeah. custom text there's always custom orders in each one like so it's just can't have that much sense. stock printed yeah yeah it makes a lot of sense. I remember when I, because I only sell the printable stickers now, but for yeah. the first few years it was printed. And I remember it being like the goal to get to like ready to ship level. Yeah. Like it was going to solve all the problems. And that was all the thing back then. I remember that. I was like, are you ready <laughs> yeah. to ship? Oh my goodness. And I remember feeling like awesome. But of course it takes quite a while to work out what you actually need to have ready. Yeah. And then it doesn't really stay the same for that long either. So no, it and, and it changes every week of what's most popular and what's not. And yeah. yeah, I've just got thousands of stickers in the shops. It's just not viable to have them all printed exactly and you know you want like you like the quality you want to keep really high so yeah. you know stick a paper as long as you're keeping it in good condition it isn't going to go you know too bad but no. of course there's a risk <laughs> that things can start to look old and so you don't want yeah to. I love that you're still doing that <laughs> and you obviously take a lot of pride in what you're doing I mean I like I say I, I, I was using your stickers for such a long time and still use them to, like to date it's so funny <laughs> you know the ones that I use the little swimming ones I use those a lot oh, um, yeah. and I've still got so many of your sample sampler pages too where I'm like oh, I yeah. never, never know when I might need that <laughs> I'm not gonna let it go no. oh, I love it. and what made you start using stickers in your planner in the first place um, because I wanted to do custom headers in the Erin Condren because I was doing like blog, home, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's what really got it started. And then I, my friend sent me links to people's YouTubes and that kind of thing. And I was like, oh, full boxes. That's fun. Like we can blank out spots and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. So that's where it all got going there. And then you get hooked, don't you? Did yeah. You it's follow? just really fun. <laughs> it's so, it's like the best therapy and hobby yeah. and everything combined I used to follow um Elle Fowler did you follow Elle yes I'm planner so I used to follow, I mean god this is years ago for like you know her <laughs> makeup tutorials and stuff like that and I remember one day she was um like doing a plan with me session and I've always used paper planners but never really stickers in my planner for until then and I was yeah. watching her thinking that's really weird like she's <laughs> she's putting <laughs> lots of stickers in her planner she's making a big deal about it and then she's writing over them anyway but I couldn't look away it's like this is yeah. weird. But also like wow it's like mesmerizing and by the end of this like 20 minute video I was like I have to get that exact Erin Condren <laughs> I have to get some stickers I have to do this mine look my spreads look nothing like hers for a long time you know it kind of takes yeah. a while to find your groove doesn't well it? I had my like friends come to me and be like oh I was really judging you when you started selling stickers to adults, like who's paying, for, like what adults are paying money for stickers. And then they started well, trying it. And then the next minute they were hooked and they were like, yeah. okay, I get it now. <laughs> How do you plan without stickers? <laughs> what kind of a monster are you? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it funny though? It, it, it's so, it just is, it isn't about the stickers, is it? Like it's just, no. it's, it's how the stickers make us feel. It's deciding which ones we're going to use. It's knowing that we're accomplishing something. Like it's everything and the It's stickers. a creative outlet. So yeah. like it's, I always used to explain it as, it's like scrapbooking, but with a perf, like more of a purpose. Like you've, it's yeah. functional because you're planning as well. You're not just creating mm -hmm. something where you need to decide what you're doing with it and that kind of thing. Oh, I love that so much. I love it. <laughs> stickers are the best, essentially. <laughs>
everyone should do that. And so along the way, um, I've I've obviously seen how your business and you have just you've grown so much and you've re- it's been really exciting to watch you. But I guess it isn't always smooth sailing. And, you know, we make mistakes. Things happen that we're not aware of. Like has anything come up along the way that you um, have had to overcome or anything that you wish you could have done differently? I've actually had like touch wood a very smooth <laughs> pretty good smooth girl. ride I think because um I really am like I really make my decisions very clear and I have mm-hmm. really good gut instincts so yeah. I've been okay obviously there's been things out of my control like we had the pandemic and all the shipping delays and um I did my first ever pre-order um and I won't do that again for products that I don't have here but it was like obviously ended up so delayed like a whole month later so that was like oh I just want to get everyone stuff to them and everything but yeah otherwise not really like good yeah things have been good good and you know no one could have bargained for what the pandemic was going to oh, do no <laughs> Everyone I don't think there was one happening. business that wasn't untouched so yeah, completely <laughs> um, and when it comes to your planner so where you know when you when you were thinking about what kind of planner you wanted and I know you will you would have been really clear on having it like you say like stickers first it's a stickers first planner <laughs> but <laughs> how did you um what was like the design or the creative process when you came up with the concept and what was important to you and and then taking those next steps to actually make it happen what how did you go through that so I was using um, an Erin Cotton horizontal and then I decided that I wanted to move onto a rings planner and I didn't need as much space for the week because my days were very similar. It was basically work, kids, you know. Um, so I actually designed custom inserts with another Australian business um, and I was using those for years and I just loved the layout. And when I shared my layouts that had the stickers and everything in planner groups and stuff, people were like, what's those? I was like, oh, they're just a custom the sign that I use um so my husband had been telling me for years like you should just create your own planner like this isn't <laughs> like anything else and I'm like no 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 one will buy that like mm-hmm. there's so many planners on the market um and then I don't know I think it came to me in a dream a lot of my stuff actually comes to me in my dreams and I was just like no I'm just gonna do it like Not right. I'm just gonna do the planner so um <clears throat> On the left page, it has those four boxes. The main reason I've done that is because a lot of people are right-handed. I know there is lefties, but um, so you don't need to write near the coil. <laughs> That's so frustrating <laughs> so you when you do, stickers yeah. There. <gasps> yeah. Um, and that way you can still use full box stickers because I know a lot of people have full box stickers in their collection. Yeah. Um, and then I, yeah, I just wanted something really different. And it's just the way that I planned. So I just had like the week on one page and then like the overview on the left page. And yeah, so basically it was just a planner that I love to use. And I yeah. just thought, let's see if others want to use it. And they do. Funnily <laughs> enough. Well, it's so unique. You know, you see so many planners. Yes. I mean, you know, like the much of a muchness, same, same. Yeah. Sometimes you're buying it literally because it's the, the difference in the paper or if it's whoever's name is attached to it. Yeah, many or the covered plan. <laughs> like they literally do the same thing, especially when we're going to cover them all with stickers anyway. But the way that now that makes so much sense, how your planet is is laid out so different and the thinking behind that too. Um, because you know, I mean, anyone can anyone can put a planner out these days, like literally yes. all the celebs, <laughs> like all of the influencers, they're all getting their planners out there. And that's totally fine. Like we can all, anyone can go down any route that they choose, but for yeah. you, you're actually thinking from a, a real user point of view on yeah. how they're going to use it and how they're going to get the most out of it. Yeah. It was very much designed for stickers Yeah, because Good. there wasn't anything <laughs> like that. Yeah. There was obviously lots of planners and you could put stickers into them, mm-hmm. but there wasn't one thinking of people who do you like use a lot of stickers. Yeah. And as I said before, with the coil being bigger, it's because I experienced by the end of the year, you could not close that planner. That planner was jam packed open. <laughs> so I, I, I can't even get an 18 month planner anymore because no. you, can't, you can't close it. Yeah. <laughs> so the coil does look a little bit big when you get it. It's like, why is the coil so much bigger? But by the end of the year, it makes 100%. Yeah. Like, you can tell why. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You don't really realize, do you, that it's not just putting one sticker on a page, you're just double siding every single page. <laughs> <Do you>? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny. And the planners become so heavy, don't they? Yours is a really yeah. big size, whereas bigger ones, I, I can't take my planner anywhere. Like, it literally yeah. has to live on my desk because it's too big and heavy to take anywhere. <laughs> it's very simple. It's a very yeah. simple planner because, again, 
um, for myself, I never used all the extra pages and planners, like yeah, all same. the budget pages, exercise, recipes, well, all of that jazz. Yeah. Um, so there is some like specialty pages at the start, but otherwise it's just your months, your weeks and some note pages. Like it's very simplified. Perfect. Even notes pages, people are like, how do you use yours? I'm like, I don't use that at all. <laughs> no, I don't either, In but no way. I know people like them. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people who use them for like meal planning and all kinds of different things. Yeah. Um, for me, I guess I'm using notes pages for things that I want to come back to. And when my planner is done, it goes away and never throw anything away. Um, yeah. but I won't like pull it out and revisit it for notes. But yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that so much. Um, and <laughs> tell me, because one thing I love about your planners is the different covers that you do. And I get really excited when you do like the big reveal of the next <laughs> season. It's and my favorite time of year. <laughs> I bet it is. Oh, you must take so much pleasure in that. And is, are they like designs that you come up with or do you have a design process or people that you consult with? And do they come to you in a dream as well? <laughs> Yeah, so there's a complete mixture. So sometimes I design the covers, other times it's artwork that I've seen other artists paint and I'll approach them. Then I've had artists approach me saying they want to work with me. Um, so it really is a mixed bag. Yeah. And when deciding on covers for the following year, so right now I've already got all the cover designs for 2025 because I actually go to print in like three months. So you've got to be really far ahead. So yeah. Um, I try and make sure there's a real balance. So like a bit of each color, that kind of, or a bit of different styles, just so there is a choice for every person. Because if I did like, let's say all floral covers, anyone who doesn't like floral is going to be like, well, there's nothing here for me. Yes. Yeah. So I really try and make them all very different from each other. You do a great job at that. And they're so distinctly <laughs> you as well. Obviously, yeah. colours for in a lot of ways. Um, but I love that because, yeah, we're not all into the same things, are we? And a, yeah. and a front cover, you're, you're pretty much stuck with for the full year. So you want it to be one yeah. that you love. And every year there's always a greenery option because I'm known for my love of plants. So <laughs> there's yeah. always going to be a greenery option. <laughs> That's something else I'm always envious of because my plants mainly, there's one there, all my plants are fake. <laughs> I mean I've got two real plants and they're just just about clinging on so yeah I need, uh, I need the plants all right <laughs> so like in terms of the business now and it's already grown so very much like do you have any aspirations to ever be in stores I don't I think you're all online at the moment aren't you with yeah. what you're doing um I met Christina Carlson from ex Kiki K recently and I had never had any ambition to be in stores ever but I'll tell you what it was really interesting watching her journey of how things had come about and then closed and then continued yeah. after like is, <laughs> is that something that you would ever think about um I definitely don't want my own shop yeah. I don't know about stocking my products I like that I've got full control over how things are presented and sent yeah. out and the customer experience mm -hmm. um and I have no desire for like a warehouse and a big team of stuff. Like I'm very happy yeah. just working at home because that gives me the freedom that I wanted yeah. um, and just doing it. Like I really love working in my business. I know a lot of people don't love it, but I really do love it. Like if I won Lotto tomorrow, I'd still do exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> same, same. Um, and you, it sounds like you've really created a lifestyle-led business then. You know, it yeah. isn't just about selling a product it isn't just about oh, making no. money this is a whole family focused life focused experience for you yeah yeah I don't miss anything of the kids like I can just be like okay I'm not working today I'll catch up like last week we had so many school events on and other stuff I think I only worked two days but I still yeah. got the work done like I've I'm caught up like it's done like do it yeah I, I love find that. the balance yeah <laughs> I feel the same way. I love being able to go to the kids things too. I also love um, how you, you so one of your daughters um, helps you with designs, doesn't she? Does yeah, she so she's got her own little sticker range in the shop there. And oh. that just, every now and then she's like, I want to design some stickers. I'm like, okay. And she'll spend like a whole day designing, drawing, choosing colors, that kind of thing. And then she'll not mention it again for like a year. And then yeah. she might come up. So it's not something I have pressured her into or said, oh, I want you to do this because it will sell on my website. Like it's nothing like that. It's literally when she comes to me. So I think there was like a three year break between us because I'm like, okay, cool. So if she comes to me, I'm happy to support her and pop her things up. But yeah. And then she buys herself some goodies with her profits. So yeah. 
Isn't that awesome though? What a great thing to be able to process and, and about business and entrepreneurship and, and creativity and being led by yeah. your Like, I just love that that's the opportunity that you can pass to her. Um, yeah. I, my daughter said to me, she's eight. No, she's not. She's 10. My son is eight. Um, and she said, one day, can I take over your sticker business? I was like, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm sure you can. She went, can I change the name? <laughs> can you just wait a bit just longer? Like, I've like, got big ideas. Yeah, I'm planning to do this for a while, so you might have to just wait. <laughs> oh, how cute, though. Um, yeah. And how, like, I'm guessing that your partner is super supportive of the business too. Does, does, does he get involved in any way, or is it really you taking the reins? It's very much me. Um, he does work away, so he's away like a month at a time, and then he's home for a month and so on. Yeah. Um, so, but like if I'm say, can you assemble all these boxes? Like he assembled all the boxes for my advents because I was oh. like, I've got so much to do. So if there's little jobs, he'll do those for me. Yeah. Um, but all the business stuff and all the decisions and all the designs, it's all me. I just tell him about it. <laughs> I love it. It's great to have yeah. a supportive person who can do those things every now and again, isn't it? Yeah. My my hub's just started working for my business back in March this year. So oh, um, that's exciting. Yeah, we're, getting, we're just like, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's going well so far, but we've always said, like, if it ever gets to the point where we're not enjoying it or it isn't working, then we'll we'll revert. <laughs> yeah. I again. just don't feel like there's a job for him to do. Like, because obviously yeah. I sit and print out the orders, like, what's he going to do? Like, yeah. That's the thing. You can't just give there them isn't... a job that you're doing. Like, they have to have the skills or the interest in learning or the ability yeah. to do it. Miles is um, an illustrator, like he illustrated for Disney for uh, ages. So he can do a lot of the design stuff. Yeah. Awesome. But he's also pretty technophobic. So he can't, <laughs> he's learning. <laughs> so there's some things that he can't do. Um, and then some things I'd love to be able to get him doing, helping with the online business stuff. He just, he wouldn't be the right person for that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're working it out as we go, but I uh, I just love how you get you can get the kids involved too. That really inspires me to do a sim, you know something similar with my kids too. Yeah, and I also find instead of him helping with me in the business, yeah, he does like more of like the house and the kids and stuff when he is yeah. home, and yeah. like he'll do all the school runs and all that kind of stuff when he's home. So that's like stops my day breaking up to obviously stop and start doing all of that. Yeah. So. Which is a big thing when you are in a in a flow and getting things done, and, and yeah, be full on with kids, you know, for those times where you are managing it all by yourself and still have <laughs> to fulfil, you know. Yeah. Oh, it I can be it. quite the juggle, especially now going into the busy time. But the kids are so grown now, and they're so independent. Obviously, they're teenagers, yeah. so it's so much easier now than when they were little and obviously needed to be entertained in the school holidays and everything else. Or like three kids parties every weekend. That's oh, like yeah. The the social lives. Life. <laughs> <laughs> they do so much more than we do. They do. <laughs> so funny. So for anyone who is, especially to those um, people who are listening, who are interested in starting to make their own stickers and maybe thinking about selling them in the future, like have you got any tips or any advice of things that might help them especially when it comes to I guess just getting getting started because I think a lot of people fear that they um you know there are too many people out there doing it anyway or mine will never be as good as theirs and I know and you know that it's just such a fun journey to give things a go um but is there any encouragement or advice that you might give someone who's thinking about it I would say decide on the look and the style and the feel and make it very authentic to yourself like if you're trying to do a style because you saw that it's popular it's never going to work like it really has to be you and don't overthink it don't go oh but what if people don't like it who cares like it's you like do something you love and then other people will love it as well it's very clear when people it's not their style they're just doing it for the sake of it um and consistency so I've had my same color palettes since like nine years ago Mm -hmm. um and I find consistency is great because if you're constantly changing it up if people come back and they want to match the stickers or they want the same stickers they already had they're going to be disappointed so being consistent if you're with your color palette I think is important as well absolutely amazing advice like really good because I did that I changed my color palette about three or four times in the beginning and that's yeah. really great while you're finding your feet but I wish I'd done that before I'd started to get regular customers you know yeah 
it's a thing that you don't think of isn't it and and you're exactly right too in coming up with your own style which you won't necessarily do from day one but no you'll find along the way yeah yeah yeah. you'd think that it would be this like if if we just do exactly the same as that successful shop then we'll have success too no No. that isn't gonna work and you know I you know you live and learn um and it isn't isn't just related to sticker businesses or planner businesses or any it's the same across the board isn't it if it was that simple everyone would be successful but why waste time trying to do what other people are doing when we can actually t- spend a bit more time working out what lights us up to I think if you're doing something for just for money it's yeah. not going to succeed it has to be a passion it has to be something you're proud of something you would use yourself like not just oh I'm going to make this like I've never done those really big kits because it's not something I'd use myself, even though I know at one point they were very popular. Yeah. Um, and I haven't done anything that's gold because I personally do not like golds, even though I know a lot, lots of people love it. So yeah. there is so many things I could do that would sell well, but it's not true to myself. So I just don't do them. It's so true. And over the years, like you are really, truly known for things like you're known for that color palette. You're known for the green, you're known for the plants. <laughs> like it's, it's so great to be able to have that brand identity and it can take some time for sure. But don't be afraid, like you say, to really think about what things are important to you. Yes. Oh, I love it. So <laughs> where can everyone who um, has been under a rock and didn't didn't know yet about Lime and Water, where can everyone find you and find out more about your amazing planners and stickers uh so we've got my instagram which is just lime and mortar all in one word um and then also my website and the links obviously you've got links to everything on the instagram as well but you'll find everything you need on the website and if you have any questions i am always very active in my dms and my email so you'll get a fairly quick response from me as well yay i will share all those <laughs> links below too and leanne's instagram channel is goals it's so fantastic and i just have loved watching your journey over the years and I'm so happy to finally talk to you today thank you love i know it was so lovely thank you so much for having me